Something's happened, not from to stop, just aware how your mind is possible. Your mind keep this role. The other things come in, it's not trying to stop because it doesn't work. Just focus your mind in this room. Okay? In your room, you stay your room. And also, we need a meditation emptiness to visualization from the Anything that you see, anything that you hear, anything that you are aware, they all depend, origination depend each other. And therefore, they all depending, therefore it is emptiness. Okay? Then try to find some connect your mind and your body. Try to feel something, okay? Good? So what you see, what you hear, no attention to do your mind. Everything is possible with your mind. It's not possible within this room. Okay? Okay, everyone try to meditation a little while. Okay?
or to connect your mind and your body. Your mind, thinking, experience, connect your body to some feelings in your body. Something of where to feel in your mind, peace and warm feeling. Feel all your body and mind. Connect your mind and body. Feel some peace and warm feeling. Then it shares for all mothers and human beings all around with you. Bring back in more power, more stone, and more feeling. Enough. You feel anything? No more. <laughs> okay. Anyway, how are you guys sleeping there? Am I good? <clears throat> okay. Anyway, the as you are the senior people, everyone knows what the Buddhism, what the meditation. Basically. As Buddhism is the, the tool to fix our mind. It not means we are the crazy person. <laughs> you have to fix my mind. I'm not crazy. It's not thinking like that. Because the doctors fix our body, you know, parts, any problems, any roles, in medicine, right? The, they will have always go with us, our body and our mind. Our mind is like very picky. Things always, you know, like uh, very easy to catch things. Also, it's very easy to damage for our mind. Because our mind doesn't pick up good things. It always be pick up bad things. If you're looking for bad things, some you know, wrong information, the Ahmad always picking that. And then we more exercise that, then analytical that, then is get bigger and bigger. And this really bothers us. Some things is we not, maybe we don't have any connection. We're not able to do anything but our mind don't feel like things bring together. Therefore, you know, always as Buddhism, that's good, yeah, I like to say that. If you are too far, you can bring more new chairs. You can bring up, you can bring up. They are there. There's a Buddhism, it's usually the one religion. Another thing to, you know, tour, you know, 
control of mind. Because control means you will not talk about a take out from freedom of mind. Because what kind, what kind of thought is and being for or more damage of body and mind. We need to control that. But we say I need to control this, it doesn't work. We need to some exercise, some, some focus. That is a in you know, meditation. Then anything you're doing, walking, eating, cooking, you're talking, you can more focus there. This is meditation. It's also something there. Meditation doesn't mean you have to sit all the time. Focus on your body, keep your mind there. That's all to meditation. Then you can move to the room. Then more meditation. Love and compassion. And under that, understand the reality of the nature of this world called samsara. Then you can be if 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 you be possible to a realization of those things, our mind become more less. It doesn't bother much us. Because we know the whole reality. Example difference between little babies, they build the same house. When they built their thoughts and the fault, they got very sad. But adults several without any feelings. They said, this is nature. Then you build the sand, they will destroy its nature. The kids think this is reality. This is exactly similar. What we see, we think, we take serious things. It's not same is what we see, what we think is reality. We think to more over all the time. Another example, you know, a lot of things to our mind take this like attachment to more over and over. You see, more than that, more than this. And, uh, we buy something to force we have very strong attachment. Then a couple of months, a couple of years, then they go away. Think the same. Another example special this you know area. We meet some friends, we are serious, we are serious. A couple of months, a couple of years. Become your enemy. Right? Those shows that doesn't change the others' objects, but how our mind makes it. The whole mind is very powerful. Therefore, Buddhism is the road to keep control of our mind, or our less our mind. For that, we teach for all different things with different ways, experience to, you know, nature, the samsara reality of the samsara, or reality of the woman's life, reality of the animal's life, things we can see. But we say, oh, we say, I know that, but we don't really think or go deep those things. We say, if you really think from morning to evening, a lot of things going on our daily life, but we don't much pay attention. We pay attention to something to serious, some bad things happen, we just think of it. Maybe a lot of good things happen, but we don't much pay attention. Then we'll Buddhism start to you know, keep our positive minds more developed and negative minds more subdued. Right? Subdued. This is the way. In every way, they have so many different tools, different ways. Okay? Because the quits. Have they make so many different chores because they know kids doesn't satisfy one chore. Different people need different chores, right? Therefore, we have also different foods. 
It's for murder. They buy so many things. They make a lot of different things. Why are they making do it with it? Oh, fire. They want to eat different things. They make Right? But we think, oh, this is perfect. Don't, don't recognize. You know, you know there's small ginger coal, small bar, small. Chair, chair, ginger, you don't get the ginger. Ginger tea? Ginger, not ginger tea. The coke. You know, you know, you know what, what I'm talking about? You know, we have, we have Coca Cola. It was a ginger. Ginger? Ginger. You know how many sugar a small ginger? We like to give one that. They say, in, if you drink one ginger small, a cup or you know, a chair, we say, can, in order to clean that they want, we need to same size water, more than 200. You got it? You got it? You know what? You know, ginger can. 200 cans of water to exactly. of sugar in the one. Yeah. What is, how does that get rid of the sugar? No, no, no. Clean up water. Clean up water. We don't get the lot of sugar. We need to clean up that. I don't know how to do that. This is the science there, that. But small things, how damage came to our mind. In order to clean up that, how much I'm working. More than 200 gel. It was a can. Can gel. There were the, more than 41. And, and sugar, but we don't know in that. I like drink a lot of the time. But in order to the small one, we have to clean up. Just kids, is that chips or can? Can. Yeah. I mean, they can come in a bottle. Yeah, bottle. Anyway, there were small things to clean up. We have to long walk. There, in order to our mind become peace, relaxed, happy. We need a lot of effort. We need a meditation, one hour, two hour, it doesn't move. We need to move. You say, oh, I'm studying all the books. Maybe you know books, but you don't put into the practice. It doesn't work. Right? Maybe like, yeah, like that. That will put some like tone, those, or, you know, monkey mind. Okay, then you can, you know, sometimes we, this is special this time, we talk about for the you know, softenings that we don't want to hear soften, we don't want to experience soften, but in order to free from that, or we don't want experience many things, only one thing we can do, what? We stop the create the cause. If you don't stop the create the cause, you say, I don't want to go there, but you create the cause for that, then it doesn't stop. Right? Therefore, we talk about that things. Uh, then we go to the book. Okay? Are you guys okay? Can you hear me? Is my English better? Or worst. A lot of people you have to guess, okay, you just you have to hang. <laughs> Why you talking about that? Yeah, yeah. That is not the other thing. Sanya Tanya said, That's So, up to here, we've been talking about um, all the sufferings you know, of the hell realm, right? So, like hot hell, the cold hell, and so forth. And so, uh, actually, the 
more extensive explanation about the sufferings are explained in, in the Lamrim you know, teachings. And so if we were to ask where it's where are they, you know, where, where they are, um, then actually it's not very far. And if you have created a karma to be born there, then the moment you stop breathing, you will be born there right away. So it's not that far. So right now, even if you were to hear about the sufferings you know, or read about them in the book or see the drawings you know, of them, uh, then you get terrified. Right? Then what, what will happen if you are actually born there? So just like you know, you can imagine the people uh, suffering that people torture, the people go through in the prison, right? There's so many different kind of prison. So what kind of you know, torture, tortures you know, they go through in the prison? You think about that, and then you kind of uh, and get scared of that, right? So you get, you be afraid of that, and then um, then that way you will you know think of you know not uh, creating any uh, cause you know to be imprisoned like that. Mm -hmm. And so then the verse um, 85 explains you know, how um, intense you know, is the suffering you know, of the uh, hell realms. And then uh, the verse 86 you know, explains you know, uh, the measure you know, of the sufferings. And then uh, the, the 87 explains you know, how long you have to experience those sufferings. And, uh, and then uh, uh, the 88 explains, you know, um, what what causes you to be born there? What causes you to go through those experiences? So up to that, um, uh, the, uh, among the six realms, uh, the sufferings of the hell realm is uh, explained. So let's read it uh, from verse 85 you know, to 88. Among all the types of pleasure, the extinction of craving is the highest bliss. Similarly, among all the types of suffering, the suffering of Avicii is the worst. The pain of being violently stabbed 300 times by sharp spears in a single day during this life doesn't equal or even approach a fraction of the smallest of the miseries in the house. Even if you experience for a billion years this extremely unbearable misery, you will not be freed from that life until those negative deeds are done. <coughs> the seeds of these fruits of non-virtue are negative actions of body, speech, and mind. Therefore, you must skillfully make an effort to never engage in the slightest wrongdoing. Good. Okay. Yeah. 
An example, I mean, the, the way that I understand that is if they're, they're showing the, um, you know, the, the, the greatest bliss is, is to... This is an example. An example? Yeah. Not an example. No, an example would be like... Yeah. Penas, 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 they tell you, go to penas, and go to the Korean, the Devam, and the Devam, and the Korean, 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 so the best and the happiness or the, the ultimate happiness you know, is the happiness you know, of being free from the samsara. So the moment you are free from the samsara, yeah, that's when you experience the real happiness. Did you go to the Devadi? うん、で、僕にのな、セバマルバ、セバ、ほぼパンベでは、で、で、え、ダボ、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で
uh, the, among the, all the happinesses, the happiness of abandoning the uh, samsara is the best happiness. You think so? So is there no greater happiness than that? Well, I mean, uh, for enlightenment, it seems like that would be greater happiness. But here, this is the best. The same thing? Yeah, we said, we understand. And liberation is the best happiness, what do you think? It's true? Yeah, I mean, because um, happiness is contaminated, so if you liberate it, then it's yeah, the more, the, pure happiness. If you be enlightened, the more yeah, enlightened, the more. best or best or happiness is all that. But here they said best happiness is the definition of something. We understand that. I don't know why they say that, because I would say that complete enlightenment would be yeah, that we understand. higher than. Yeah, it seems like it's from the point of view of. Um, Astrologers that to say that the highest bliss is Nirvana. From, from whose perspective? From whose point of view? From the Hinayana point of view. Hinayana. Okay. Then, then we think. It also. This is this is a bold script. Yeah, I don't think he was it, talking about. Like they don't really talk about it, but this this is this is also Mahayana. This is a Mahayana text. Uh, but I think this is we can understand to all. But then I'm doing Korean, you know, and then Jitim will tell you a show. The Jitim will come at the Then some are giving him the way of Christine, but no Korean man wrong. So yeah, this is uh, I think uh, talking about the happiness before you gain enlightenment. Okay. Okay. So, so it's just like um, you know, it talks about um, the uh, the measure of the suffering, like or the intensity of the suffering. How much you know sufferings, um, uh, and how big is the suffering, or how intense is suffering in the hell realm? He says, compare with the human beings. Like if somebody is stabbed um, with the spears, you know, three hundred times um, <clears throat> uh, a day, uh, how much suffering will that person go through? And this is the suffering. Uh, uh, it's even like the sufferings, you know, the so smallest suffering in the hell is uh, hundred thousand times more than this. And then in verse uh, eighty-seven, it explains, you know, how long um, you have to go through this kind of sufferings. So once that uh, karma is ripened, then until you have exhausted that karma, you have to experience those sufferings. So it's just like um, you know the the medicine, like the tino that you take, you know, it has a certain limit, you know, uh, of how much pain it can you know uh, get rid of. And so once that potential, you know, of that medicine is gone, then the the pain will come back again. So it's just like that. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> and then uh, talks about uh, the uh, the cause of the suffering, right? Uh, who created? How how you created? And um, and uh, when when did you create? And so forth, right? Like that. So you know, so it has to be sometime in the past you know, that you have created the um, the action or the karma to be born there, and. Um, 
Um, so you know, it is. It has to be that sometime before, because you can't crit at the right right at that time. So it has to be sometime before that. So this is what it talks about. You know what what causes one to experience these sufferings? Like it talks about um, the the non virtuous actions, right? You know of the body, speech, and mind, and so forth. And so we should strive, you know, to. Uh, um, not uh, create even uh, even the smallest you know, of the like it says talks about like a, even an atom you know of the non virtuous actions. So this is what it says in the text, right? So, but what do you guys understand about it? Yeah, Margaret, you say something. Do I book with you? You do book with me? <laughs> Who would like to say that? Ever? Good, good. Okay, here, yeah, yeah, Jennifer, oh, Mark. Okay. We understand. What's the question exactly? Explain this in words, any idiot. Give give for us to uh, explain or describe. I would say explain, not yeah. example. Give give us to ex explain. Well, in plain language, what he's saying is don't cultivate habits of afflictive states that are going to lead to plant the seeds that later are going to have induce karma, which will bring suffering. He's saying, be mindful of body, speech, and mind and what you do now to avoid suffering in the future. Okay, general things are not, not cut. No, I think it's specifically saying don't engage in, in non-virtuous actions. If you, that, those That's are what I said. <laughs> 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 you know, it's more. Yeah, well, you're you're like don't in do... plain language. And here. Well, <laughs> Yeah, don't do non-virtues now because you'll have to pay for it later. Yeah. Would that have said something? We can think. Mm. It's like it's big sense to be not something. Saying that the, the drawback of non-virtuous action is a lot bigger than it seems. Okay. So we're talking about the non-virtuous actions created through our body, speech, and mind. Um, so those of you, you know, who are new, maybe you're not familiar with this. So we talk about these you know, 10 non-virtuous actions. Uh, there are three uh, we create you know, through our body. And then there are four we create through our speech. And there are three that we create through our mind. <laughs> So among these ten non virtuous actions, which one is you, which one do you think is the most serious one? Okay. You kill no one. Okay. From you. Okay. What do you think? Some people. I would say it's anger because it motivates uh, many other non virtuous actions. Okay. Pomoni. Well, I was thinking about uh, the first one about not killing. Killing your parents would be, to me, the worst. You know, this just reminds me of something. It's like everything you do, every body, speech, your mind, you've got to watch it. This is what this means to me. You've got to watch everything like a hawk watches their prey. I mean, you can't let up. That's how I I look at uh, verse eighty eight. Like you just can't let up on any of this stuff. Big big job. Okay. Yes. I, yeah. Uh, I think the most serious is wrong view, but the hardest is um, non virtue of the mind. Is hardest to control or to um, avoid. Yes, that, I was going to say the same thing. I think the mind is probably the most important one because that's where we where it starts, right? I mean, we, you know, those thoughts, those, you know, non-virtuous thoughts and, the, you know, the way the actions come from that, you know, so I would think that would be the first one that was most important to pay attention to. Yeah. Okay. Karen and Sharon, we have something. 
you have some some bench. I agree. I think it's the mind because it it's the starting point of everything else. Get it? You <laughs> some bench? Okay. Yeah. Well, who doesn't have wrong view? Everybody does. <laughs> so then we're all going to hell. Well, that's right. Is it? No, is that's it? why it's the worst. If he is, what's the, why is it the worst, right? But there's a huge continuum of wrong view. You could have, like, you know, the superficial one is belief in karma, rebirth, whatever. But That's superficial? Well, no, the main ones, you know. <laughs> you don't have to argue every karma. But it's like, you know, it's like. You need to really see it, otherwise you won't just. Catch you a small, small <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's Not believing in karma is superficial. It's like it's, it's, not it's big. It's big, but you can have. It's a huge continuum. Yeah. Anyway, my question is: that the U.S. gone here. My question is: which one's more? I know, series three from body, or three from mind, or four from the speech. I think that three from mind is more serious. It doesn't do the actions, but we think this is more serious. You can see the all the problems created all over the world. Before the action, the start from mind. Without mind, thoughts, ideas go before, then not happen any actions. Right? Therefore, this is a word this is with us. We don't usually anything happens situation. We always complain others. He did, she did. We don't build ourselves. We don't think about this. You know, we mean to something. Is it true? What do you think? We always he did, she did, they did. He or she the condition according to Buddhism. He or she is conditioned to be there. But then there's no real cause. There's a man with your mind thinking. You know, don't mean what Mark says the correct way. I think it's the correct way. I'm not saying 100%. Well, she's going to just. You <laughs> 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 said that karma was superficial wrong view. Well, no, big, big. The, but the, like, the point is, those are like, everybody knows that, right? But the. You, this subtle wrong view, it's a huge continuum. Unless you're fully enlightened, you have an element of wrong view. I don't, I don't see what he's saying about wrong view being a continuum. There's there's a conventional wrong view, and then there's the ultimate wrong view. The conventional wrong view would be not believing in common law of cause and effect, uh, not believing in past and future. So then you can believe, I can believe in but, karma, but it has it, if it's not a perfect belief, it's still a wrong view. I believe in karma, but then I have some screwball notion of what it means. It's still a wrong view. Just like you go from wrong view but to direct realization, it, it doesn't go from where well, you have wrong view and then direct realization. It's a continuum. Everything's a continuum. How can it not be? You don't just go from absolutely wrong to absolutely right and nothing in between. I think you're using the word continuum. What continuum? It's continuous. She just catch it. She it's just it. like you can be way wrong, like two plus two is 58. You know, that's really wrong. You know what I mean? And it goes, you're, you're looking for the word spectrum, not a you're looking for spectrum, not a continuum. It's not here or there, it's, it's, it, it can be anywhere in between. It's, it's a no, it's a spectrum, is the word, spectrum, not continuum. Right, yeah. Spectrum is, is there a different, is, is there a different, no, continuous is not the same thing as a spectrum because. I don't know to continue to spread the event. You tune in. What's that? What's that? What's that? Continue? Uh, Mark used the word continuum. He used the word spectrum, though, right? I think that's the word that that would make more sense, the spectrum. What it is. Yeah, what, what do you mean by spectrum? Okay, a spectrum is that you have something on. Um, on the one end that could be like let's say a, a spectrum of um hot and cold okay cold on one end hot on the other and then 
you know, along the way you get warmer, 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 hotter, hotter, you go from cold. So there's a spectrum of hot and cold. And that's, that's, not a that's not a continuum. Oh. Continuum in Buddhism would be like, um, the, you know, the, um, it would be causally related is the way we talk about a continuum, like our mental continuum. Um, あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
then you know in the teaching what it's saying is that you know it's, there's nobody outside there who created that for us it is our own negative karma so the negative karma of our body speech and mind so when we have created that when we create those negative karma then we create the cause for ourselves you know to be born in the hell and go through those sufferings of extreme heat and cold and so forth <laughs> And so those negative karmas, did we intentionally create those negative karma? So mostly we created those uh, negative karma out of ignorance. So we created those negative karmas, you know, mostly out of ignorance, uh, ignorance, you know, um, like not knowing, either by not knowing or by knowing it wrongly, you know. So we know it, you know, and we say, oh, we know it wrongly, and we think, oh, that's how it is. You know, we think, oh, you know, uh, she did it or he did it, and we just kind of, you know, put the blame on others uh, for you know, having done those negative karma. Or you know, seeing the things you know uh, in, in a way that they're, and they're not true, and thinking that that's how they are. So that's like knowing wrongly, by by not knowing or by knowing wrongly. For example, our life is very precious, right? But there are so many people who. Uh, take their own lives, right? Why, why do why do they do that? Why do they take their own life uh, when that is so precious to them, right? Are they doing it willingly? Uh, are they you know doing it ignorantly? Why why are they doing that? So what I think you know is that when people take their own life, they think that life is full of uh, problems or sufferings, and then uh, the easiest or, or or only way to get out of that trouble or that problem of the life is to end the life. And so that many people they think that way, and that's why they commit suicide. And then some people also they drink, right? They drink you know, until they get drunk. And uh, and then they also they think that's the one of the reasons uh, or the method you know to get rid of uh, uh, you know the problem, you know, to like forget about the problem, right? So if you think of, if you drink and you get drunk, then you don't think about it anymore, and then you don't you know, have to think about any of those problems that you have in your life. So that's why they drink. Is it like that? They're very happy, everything for God. Well, most people think if your life is suffering, it worse that death is neutral. So neutral is better than negative. Yeah, whatever they did is good. It shows whatever we think, you know, controlled by the tradition. This is for proof or logically. You know, we don't but I say that it's logically right. Then when we have some problems, when we have some problems, we say I need to urge with that. This is the say bad word. This is the best way to solve the problem. We think the order they come. They create more problems. After we done, we got already that feeling. But the ignorance of the angry come, we cannot control it because we are all always useful. The man thinks to talk about that. Who create the karma? Not looking for others. I will watch, you know, only she said, I will be true always. Right 
these terms like Western tradition or culture, they fight for the messages. But what do they really see? The old times, they see each other, they use the stones as sword. They fight. You know, this Okay, let me think of this is very true or not. Then what we do? Then it's possible to stop to bad feelings or no views or no thoughts. It is not necessary. If you're able to stop for the mind, the body is stopped, and mind also, speech also stop. If we're not able, if, if we're not able to stop our mind, Body and speech, they will just come. Is it? The mind. Then doesn't need anything to go. You may stay there. You watch TV, you create a lot of negative comments, a lot of negative ideas. Then you mount all of your convictions for your mind. The mind, you don't need to go to this. You meet the it's an object. You just carry it. The very stones, they're not a bomb. You know, go, go, let me just go to the mind. Therefore, that means we need to focus. It's important to awareness to our own actions. Okay? Any questions? That, that almost sounds like the right right action then becomes the 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 first step because then that drives the mind. So it sounds like you're saying. So because you chose to watch TV, so then you have the uh, the, the wrong view because you're seeing what's in the TV and then, yeah. but so then it sounds like it's not the mind, it sounds like it's the, the actual. Oh, your mind crept. You see the things, your mind crept. I, it's not the TV, it's what you're, yeah. you're seeing in the TV. Exactly, you mind crept. You mind crept red more way. In front of TV, maybe two people watch, they need the same view, same idea, same thought. It not that one that that one that that shows, not from TV, it's from yourself. How you accept it? How you, yeah, how you process your mind? Therefore, the main thing is always with all the nothing. It's always this bunch of 24 hours like what you want. Awareness. I was explaining it all. You guys are traveling, right? You're going traveling. But you need to be careful. But you need to watch series always. Right? You need to do other things. Mindfulness or before you start body speech, just check what is going on. Slow and then stop. You wonder why you stop one day. Is it? Any questions? Yeah. That day. So after that, we have already discussed about the sufferings, you know, of the hell realm. And and so this is what uh, Nagarjuna is saying to the king, so that in all these sufferings and it comes from your own negative karma created by your body, speech, and mind. So always you know keep watch you know, on your um on your body, speech, and mind, and uh, uh, ensure that you don't create any uh, negative, any even the slightest you know, of the negative karmas of body, speech, and mind. Yeah. And so this one also is explained a lot in more detail or more extensively in the in the Lamrim by Lama Tsongkhapa. But you know the source of those explanation is the text like this you know, by Nagarjuna. <laughs> And 
And just like, you know, uh, 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 also, you know, said that uh, all these sufferings, you know, of the uh, uh, lower realm, um, you know, comes you know, from uh, uh, the non-virtuous actions and therefore, uh, you know, should uh, <clears throat> not engage you know, in any of these non-virtuous actions, even at the cost of one's life. And this is the practice, you know, of the Bodhisattvas. And so whatever sufferings or problems that we face, you know, comes to us uh, because of, uh, um, you know, having engaged or created uh, you know, uh, non-virtuous or wrong actions. Okay. And uh, the next, you know, it talks about the sufferings of the animals. So now let's contemplate, you know, on the sufferings. So maybe you, you can, on your own, you can contemplate on, on the sufferings you now of the animals. And so think about all kinds of animals, you know, the animals, um, <clears throat> domestic animals or the, the wild animals, and uh, animals that are owned by people uh, or they are cared and, you know, uh, look after by people or those animals you know, that they have, they have they're, they're in, the, in the forest or in the wild or who have nobody to take care of them and so forth. So think about all those kind of sufferings you know, that those uh, animals can go through. Um, we can relate, you know, to the sufferings you know, of the animals maybe a more easier way uh, because we can see them. But uh, the, like the talking about the sufferings you know, of the hell realm, uh, it's a little bit difficult for because you know it's just uh, what is explained in the text. But otherwise, you know, you can't really see it, right? <laughs> But just because we don't see it doesn't mean it's that's not it's not there, right? So just because it is not um uh, uh, what is it, um uh, discovered, just because it's not not discovered by science, does it mean that it doesn't exist? Wait. What they find. Uh, they used to say, scientists used to say that rocks don't fall from the sky. And the farmer said, There's a rock in my field. It fell from it wasn't there yesterday. It fell from the sky. And the scientist said, There's no rocks in the sky. And yeah. then now, now we know, yeah, rocks do fall from the sky. Really? Yeah. Right. It comes from space. they fall from the hills. And they fall from the hills, but sometimes one comes from space. Not very often. <laughs> Any other things? But that's a shooting star. It's a, a meteor. It, it hits the atmosphere. It gets really hot. If it makes it, sometimes it makes it all the way to the ground. But the scientists used to say, no, no, it doesn't happen. Any things? Is an example like that before they say Brahma Sabdhapa. Usually science is very honest, right? They don't see? No. They don't see things, they don't say they don't accept. But is there a difference? Like let's say you believe that people can have hellish mental states. Like a hundred percent you're convinced. Like you can describe poetically like the worst thing. Yes, people experience that. How is it important to say, well, no, I actually believe that there's like a place in hell, it's due north, 10,000 leagues, you know, is it important? Does it really matter? Okay. <laughs> Tina, she's done as a Nyawa dead, and I'm going to call it the Yogi Yosiris. 
So I'm I'm not sure if you know you can physically you know um uh, see the distance you know, between the the earth and the uh, and the hell realm though in the in the text it says you know like between you know below the, this this many you know miles or uh, they call it talk about yojanas you know the, or, or kind of miles this many miles you know below the earth you know there is a hell you know, so if they say like that I don't know if it's like like that I think that's just to give you an idea. Uh, you know, for your imagination or for you to think about it, but uh, but uh, I don't think there's a you know hell like that in the in the distance like that. But you know, but that's definitely there's a hell there. And so, but you know, like it says, you know, if you you know dig down you know, into the into into the earth, the center of the earth, you know, it's like a the core of this earth you know, is like a lava, right? It's a big, big fire by itself. So beings you know, who are dwelling there, you know, can be like the hell and a hot hell. Is that a... Yes. Well, also, uh, the karma creates our environment too, not just our experience. So you would have to believe that, like if you had the karma, of a hell being that you're also your environment would be a hell and just and we can't see. so it's all your all because of your karma uh, that you get to experience uh all kind of things that you experience you know like everything that in your in your life in day-to-day -day life you know the things that you experience is the result of your own karma so there are so many different countries you know, in this world, right? And there are so many people born in different kind of countries, right? So why are some people born in that country and not in this country or no one? Why are some people born in this country and not in other countries, you know? It's because of our world karma. So we have created one has created karma to be born in this country, so they are they are born here, and the other one has created you know, created karma to be born in other countries, so that's why they are born there, like that. So anyway, so the the wherever there is this kind of like intensive unbearable sufferings, like it is explained in the text, hellish in you know, the sufferings, and that is where you can call a hell. And then uh, the suffering of hunger and thirst, you know, wherever you experience it, the most, you know, that place is like the hungry goes around. And um, and then the, the the beings, you know, who have no knowledge about what is right or is wrong um and uh <clears throat> and 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 who are kind of uh abused or you know uh, or used you know, by other beings like humans and so forth you know it's called animals okay is it like that any other question any question you have <laughs> you have started this before yeah, I've, I've read um, Thich Nhat Hanh, uh, uh, a lot of his uh, writing. Yeah, Buddha has so many different ideas, so many different things. There are different ways to keep, I told you, in order to hold or serve and bring people to satisfy their things, we need to produce so many different things. Right like that, the main things develop to love, Compassion and the subdued for the non virtuous mind. This is the main goal. But you know, there's a lot of things to do. Yes. I had a question about um, so, so karma, um, 
is the cause, but when it meets the condition, then you have the fruition of the, the karma. But let's say, okay, um, I actually knew someone who was killed by a mountain lion, you know, like an animal killed them. So that was the condition, that animal. And they, and they were young. They were in their 30s, maybe, you know, relatively young. So they had the karma to, to, to die Rather young. But that, well, that he's yeah. not young, his, his life is finished. Yeah. Well, okay, so not have a long life is what yeah. I'm saying. So to have, but the, the, what if there was no animal, like that condition, would they still die at that age or they just have to, like, how specific do the conditions well, no, need to uh, be? There's some condition they have to die. Some condition they have to, it's finishing the life. So if you never met that animal, yeah, that, that so, same day. So, if his life finished, then in some way, maybe he fall down or maybe something, something to die. Usually they die after three years. You know, they send it somewhere. So they send it somewhere. And you can change your mother, 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 you can change your mother. They don't show up. They don't show up. They don't show up. You can. Just your life span is over. You know, you, you that's all the lifespan you have, so exhausted the lifespan. And uh, or you or you have not created enough merit, even though you might have a long life to live, but because of not having enough merit, you might die soon. And and then also the other thing is that the condition, you know, so meeting with the condition, uh, which is like the obstacle and in your life, uh, you meet with the condition and that can cause you to die. Yeah. That may be the last or maybe you're not finished your life. But the condition that come to the you would die. So you're saying that the, the karma could have happened in another life or in your life? Sort well, of? Yeah. Three, yeah. three lifetimes. Yeah. More than 100. Yeah. Other lifetimes. Yeah. Yeah. Like example, Ge Geshla. If, you, if you create the karma, if you don't provide, stay there. Don't do anything with the condition. Yes? Uh, yes. Could so, yeah. act, <laughs> uh, on what you said, could action in this life shorten the lifespan of what was supposed to be this lifetime? Or, um, you know, because you said, okay, say the death could be caused by lifespan is finished or um, used up merit right or your merit is finished but could action in this life speed up and shorten the life more because um you know you shorten your lifespan or you have created too much negative karma that sh used up the merit even faster something like that something you create more negative karma you more long life then you put it who is more kind of negative kind of thing for sure that so that okay. does my question make sense <laughs> to others right <laughs> morangi yeah, so if you have exhausted the lifespan, then there's nothing you can do but to die. 
you know um so if if you know if it is uh um but if you even if you have a lifespan you know longer uh but you can still die before the time of having exhausted the lifespan and that is what we're talking about, you know, not having the right favorable condition. You may have a long life to live, but if there's no food to eat around and nothing to do, you know, then, and not, you know, then you can die. You know? uh, it's like, that's like not having the enough merit. And then, uh, and then even if you have a merit, even if the body can still meet with the, you know, bad conditions, unfavorable conditions, right? The accident and so forth, right? And so that can happen and that can end, end the life, you know, before you have exhausted your lifespan. So that's that's the reason why people take the long life initiation, you know, and do the long life prayers or pujas, and uh, to have long life. Uh, but you know, they cannot have a longer than what they already have, right? So if that if they cannot have a longer than the lifespan, you know, if that's if that's the lifespan they have, like for hundred years, then that's all they're going to live, you know, and. Um, uh, you can't, you know, uh, make your life longer, you know, to live up to like 110 or 20 by doing the um, long life initiations and so forth. You know? So what that does, you know, is that removes those obstacles that can, you know, uh, can that can um, cause you to die like before you you reach 100 years old. You know, maybe like 80 or 70 or 60. You may die that time. So to prevent that, then you take the long life initiations or do the long life prayers and pujas and so forth to live to your like fullest lifespan. So So that's in general, like that. But that can be a unique case also. So I'm asking also like since you know, we can do long life puja to, uh, to, uh, to clear obstacles. But likewise, I'm asking is that, because a lot of discussion seems to say that you accumulate cred, uh, merit for future life because we want to have a better human rebirth or we want to have merits. So we have better, better human, better birth. But uh, my question is whether action in this life could actually affect the result, resulting karma uh, in this life itself, as in, in a negative way as well, not just to remove obstacle, but say if I create a lot of bad um, actions. actions, then will the result be hastened and be experienced in this life? Like Wait. maybe originally I'm supposed to have a very long lifespan, but because of all my negative com uh, action, then it's possible. Possible, right? Yeah, then possible. Okay. Like conditions, maybe you are long that there's some condition check way life. Yeah, you know, like when you talk about the experience and the result, when do you experience the result of the in a karma? You know, is it positive or negative karma? It can be experienced in this life, it can be experienced in the very next life, or it can be experienced in next, next life, or 100 lifetimes, or million lifetimes, or like countless lifetimes later. So, there are three ways, three times, you know, you can experience either this life, next, very next life, or, you know, future lives. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, okay, thank you. This is uh, Margaret. I, in the Lama and Chema, they said that the third cause of death is death from failure to avoid danger. And they list nine causes, like overeating or eating, and you know, things like that. So yeah, that's conditions. a little different. So failure to avoid danger. Yeah. Those are like conditions. Those are conditions. Yeah, you would say. Yeah. Those, that's like providing the unfavorable conditions. Right, exactly. So to, to Margaret's question, like, could you, if you, you could shorten your lifespan. Yes. Yeah. Don't, don't eat too much fatty things. Yeah. Right, yeah. So, so the, the conditions would be from this lifetime, but the merit is earned from previous lifetimes? Is that the idea? Or could the merit also 
if you run out of merit, could that be something you create in this lifetime as well? Does that make sense? Okay. Like, can you create more merit? If you need more merit to live a longer life in this life, can you create that merit or can you during take the away your merit that already exists in this life? Because I, I understand that the conditions you can change in this life and could could um, end it early, but but of the three different ways, um, it is the the, the and the lifespan. I, I understand that what what you know the impacts that, but in terms of the the merit, where does where does that fit in? Is that is that something that is from past lives, karma only, or is that from this? Is that impacted off by this life, or? Uh, and both. Is that easy? Sorry. Wow. Um, yeah. So we're saying you can either you can also create and destroy merit in this life that might affect this life. Right? Yeah. Is it that? I guess I'm trying. What I'm really trying to do is understand what what is the difference between the merit and the conditions. Uh, merit and condition. Yeah. Merit is like a cause. cause. Condition is not anything. Like you know, you have example, you have four children come here, right? As we call it, call it Buddhism, you have the merit to come here. But what what bring you today here? What body we have today? Uh, in other words, how did you come here today? How did you come here? Oh, uh, like a car? You mean or? No, no. What was you come here? How did you get an interest? You you got a you got an interest, or you you got the you know you got the information about the center, or how did you get here? Did you find out? Yeah, no, I, I understand, but 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 isn't that isn't that a whole? That, there's not there's, one thing that that got wrong. No, there's, 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 there's right? There's like some way. Is that you already had the merit to come here? Maybe 10 years, 20 years, you already have. But the case is the problem. The case is the problem. Yeah, it's a good case. Even you have the merit then. You have the merit you know, to come to the center, but if you didn't meet with the condition, you will not get to the center. But then what but if, you, if you didn't have a car to drive or bus to take or something like that, you know? Uh, or if you didn't get the information from somebody about the center, you will not get to the center. So those are the conditions. Exactly. Like what... So it's, it's not, it's, it, the, the distinction is really just that that some comes from within you and some comes from without, like outside of you. Is that, is that kind of really the, 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 the distinction or? ま、だからさらだ、チックでそそぎちゃばだ、チックでてねしんだ、かてちゃばチック。だがちゃばでね、ところ。で、で、で、あの、だよ。だがそのすどね、まずだレサンブジラ。いや、そのですね、ユーブ
as we build it, build it. If we build it, also there are many different the terms. Why you, they want you, you here? Are you there? Those things, some things beyond our mind. We cannot explain. It's not been something that, but very difficult. When you create this merit, how you create this very difficult. Even we believe say that you and me or you us, we don't have the cause. We cannot just be today. They already cause something. Okay, now I'll start. That but those things you're not thinking, really thinking deeply. Even you know, then you read the books. Then if you understand, it just makes helpful concentration, contemplate your mind. Then try to, to follow as much as you can. Then you can slowly, slowly change your life. Is it? Do you change anything? Every day at home. <laughs> okay, are you guys okay? And Margaret got all the answers? Some of that. Okay, what, what page? Uh, page 39 for the oh, Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Saji Kirti Shushi Meta Kari Rodi Chini Nekem Badi Sanje Jing Duni Teo Agi Roku Nabda Shimba Shurpa Shumu for my truth collections of the space that I've amassed from working with effort at this practice for a great length of time, may I become the chief leading Buddha for all those whose minds wisdom I is blinded by ignorance. Even if I do not reach the state, may I be held in your loving compassion for all my lives, my dear Sri. May I find the best of complete creative paths of the teachings, and may I please all the Buddhas by practicing. Using skillful means drawn by the strong force of compassion, may I clear the darkness from the minds of all beings and the points of the path as I have discerned them. May I uphold Buddha's teachings for a very long time. With my heart going out with great compassion in whatever direction the most precious teachings have not yet spread or once spread have declined, May I reveal this treasure of happiness and aid. May the minds of those who wish for liberation be granted bounteous peace, and the Buddhist deeds be nourished for a long time, by even this great course to enlightenment completed due to the wondrous virtuous conduct of the Buddhas and their children. May all human and non-human beings who eliminate adversity and make things conducive for practicing the excellent paths never be parted in any of their lives from the purest path praised by the Buddhas. Whenever someone makes an effort to act in accordance with the tenfold Mahayana virtuous practices, May they always be assisted by the mighty ones, and may oceans of prosperity spread everywhere. Tari rawe kowe jing han dil, ten dan dewa madu jowe nil, chen reis it wong ten ben jasu yil, zate sete madu ten jing. Page 49, it turns out to please, please return swiftly at the very end. You who upholds the Buddhist moral way, who serves the Bhagavad Bear of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjula's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplished magnificent prayer, honoring the three jewels, Savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please return swiftly. Page 57. To this virtue may I swiftly, having been the state, 
They see each other every century. Without exception, he next Precious supreme holy mother, may it well immortalize and wherefore never decline, but increase forevermore. H seventy five. Thank you.